Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to look at Psalm 128. Uh, this psalm ends with praise of Jerusalem and Israel. And I'm thinking of this psalm today because today uh, is June 7th. This is the day, it's Sunday. This is the day that uh, would have been the Celebrate Israel Parade in New York City. Uh, every year our synagogue sends a contingent to march in the parade. Past couple of years uh, we've gone with uh, the Monmouth Middlesex uh, delegation sponsored by our Federation. Uh, but of course, it's not to be this year because of the pandemic, um, but th that's what's on my mind. So I wanted to read to you Psalm 128. And here it is. I'll read first in English uh, and then in Hebrew, and then we'll take a look at it. And then the last two verses also are a beautiful, well-known melody, and I'll sing that uh, to end, to round this out. A Ma'alot poem. Happy is everyone who reveres the Lord, who walks in God's ways. Shir Hama'alot, Ashrei Kol Yere Adonai, Haolech Bidrachav. For you will eat the labor of your hands, and you will be happy, and it will be well with you. Yagia Kapecha Ki Tochel, Ashrecha Vetovlach. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your house. Your children will be like olive plants around your table. Ishtecha kegefen pirya biyarkete vetecha, banecha keshitile zeitin saviv l'shulchanecha. Behold, the man who reveres Adonai will be blessed. Hine ki chen yivorach gever yere Adonai. The Lord shall bless you out of Zion, and you shall see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Yivorechacha Adonai mitzion, orei betuv Yerushalayim, kol yemei chayecha. You shall see your children's children and peace upon Israel. Urei vanim levanecha, shalom al Yisrael. So let's go back and take a look at some of the meaning of a couple of these verses. Uh, it says that anyone who reveres Adonai will be happy and who walks in God's ways. Uh, to walk in God's ways uh, is something that's been examined by the rabbis in Midrashim, commentaries on the Torah. Like, for instance, in Deuteronomy, it says we are, we are to do that. We are to be lalachet bechol drachav, to walk in all of God's ways. And the rabbis wonder, well, how, how, are we, how are we supposed to do that? And the text teaches us that it cites different biblical verses, like... Um, it says that God is gracious and compassionate, and so we too should be gracious and compassionate. In the story of Adam and Eve, God clothed the first human beings with fig leaves, and so we too are supposed to clothe those who are naked and provide for those who are in need. So those are some of the examples of how we're supposed to lalachet bechol drachav, to walk in all of God's ways. Uh, now the next verse Verse, verse 3 is a little mysterious. Uh, it praises uh, a man whose wife will be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of his house. I don't know exactly what that means. But the following verse about uh, his children, his children will be like olive shoots or olive uh, plants around his table. Um, Olives are obviously significant, they're produce of the land of Israel, but also, according to one commentary, uh, olive leaves are green year-round, and this commentator thinks that that's a good omen, uh, that that means that just as olive leaves are always green, so too your sons will always be upright and handsome, etc., etc., that your children will be fine, upstanding uh, children, and they'll be seated around your table. You know, again, sort of the image of, of the family meal, family harmony, eating together. So very nice. Um, and then we have these beautiful verses uh, 
that God will bless you out of Jerusalem and you will be blessed all of the days of your life and you will see your children's children uh, to be blessed with grandchildren is such a such a bracha, such a beautiful blessing. And then it ends with peace for all of Israel. So I'll sing those last two verses. Uh, it's just such a beautiful melody that I really, I really enjoy. Yevarechecha Hashem mitzion urebit to Yerushalayim. Yevarechecha Hashem mitzion kol yemei yemei chayecha. Urevanim levanecha. Shalom al Yisrael, Urevanim levanecha, Shalom al Yisrael. Again, may we all see our children's children, and peace be upon all of Israel. Amen.